Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick update here on my gunner seat for my Blissway Afterlife Ecto-1. Uh, some of you guys may have seen my comparison video on my channel between this one and the 84 version. Um, and on that video, um, it was kind of a, an unboxing review as well. But on that video, I was showing how loose this gunner seat mechanism bracket is. This whole thing was super loose. All the screws were loose. I mean, it was flimsy as hell. Now you can tell it's not moving at all. Um, the seat itself still seems too loose, but I can't really figure that out. Um, I thought this, this, I thought this part actually, I thought if you spun the chair to the right all the way, it would tighten down because it looks like it's actually part of the screw that goes in here, but that's not working. So I'm not sure, but I can live with this. I can live with that. That's fine. But the bracket was, it wasn't even, it wasn't usable basically. So I was trying to figure out what was the problem. And what I figured out was on the bottom of these screws, there's these tiny, tiny little nuts on the bottom of all of them. And these two were missing the nuts completely. And these three were just super, super loose. So I got the nut up in there more, tightened down these three screws, and that shored up this whole part. And then these two, I actually found the two nuts that goes to these two screws here. I found them on the floor here, way back in that back corner underneath that uh, rusted crate. So I got those nuts in there, tightened on the screws, and we're good to go. This thing works great now. It's tight, no looseness, works good. So if your car comes with that bracket loose, that's probably what happened. They didn't tighten the screws enough another qc issue with this car hopefully no one else has this problem but yeah so if you if that happens and this whole bracket's loose check the inside of this car because I'm, I'm guarantee those nuts are flying around somewhere um but like i said mine was back in this corner right here so so got that fixed gunner seat's good to go um yeah guys a lot of a lot of qc issues with this car see i still think that's still way too loose i'm gonna i'm just gonna figure i'm still gonna figure this part out here but at least i got the bracket um the way it should be boom get that in there so all right guys just wanted to give you an update on my gunner seat and um so yeah um i'm still in the process obviously of um, doing all my mods to this car. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of modifying, a lot of weathering. I'm still waiting for paint to come in. Um, the only thing I've done so far is I did paint this uh, light. This came clear. It's supposed to be red. So I had some clear red acrylic paint, painted that red. Painted the motor for the fans at the HVAC um, system here. This was white. It was supposed to be black. It is white on the 84 version, but for some reason it's black on the Afterlife version. Um it's too glossy right now so when after i do all my weathering this is going to look a lot more movie accurate and i also added these small black wires here to these i guess resistors i'm not sure what these are but uh those wire those black wires are there in the movie so that's all i've done so far for the modding um again i'm waiting for paint and everything to come in i ordered some rust paint and stuff like that um so I can really dirty this up. Like I said, I think I'm going to concentrate on, on the roof rack first. And then I'll work my way down. Uh, still waiting for stickers. Um, uh, Blitzway said they will send me stickers. But I had to go through Big Bad Toy Store, they said, first. So Big Bad, Big Bad Toy Store had to reach out to Blitzway. And so I'm still waiting for confirmation that they will be sending them stickers. And then they will pass the stickers down to me. Why they have to do it that way, I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I will have a video on replacing these stickers. I kind of messed with them a little bit the other day. And it looks like it's going to be a pain in the butt. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe not as bad as I'm thinking. But I really don't want to mess this up too much until I know for sure I'm getting those stickers. So, but once I get them, I'm definitely going to do whatever it takes to change them. Because that's just, I can't live with that. So, all right, guys. Again, gunner seat's fixed. Uh, if yours comes loose, look for those loose nuts anywhere in the car. Um, it was an easy fix. 
like all this stuff really is, but point is you shouldn't have to do any of this. Nothing should have to be fixed. Nothing should have to be, you know, whatever. So big time QC issues with this car. Uh, sad to see. I still love the car. Um, video doesn't do it justice. Uh, anyone who is getting this, I, I, I guarantee you're still going to be happy with it in person. It's still amazing. Uh, it doesn't come across as good on video like most things don't, but, um, when you, you know, when you see the size of this and the details and it's, it's still really cool, even with all its flaws. Um, but I'm a freak for movie accuracy, so I will be doing everything to it that I believe it needs. So, um, and I do have the 84 version, so I'm not too worried about going too hard on, you know, on it. You know what I mean? Like I, I want it to be more rusty, more dirty, more, yeah, you know, all that stuff. So. Uh, all right. Anyways, now this video is becoming long. Gunner C fixed. That was the issue. I'm glad I found out and got it fixed. And moving on to bigger, better things. All right, guys. I hope you're having a great weekend. And I will check with you guys later. Thanks.